Hello, welcome everyone. Here we have the another episode of a talk show with Veena Papalana. Ma'am, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, as we are discussing about the mindset, mindset, how does it uh, differ from an individual to individual? And we would like to know the components which helps us in building our mindset needs. A mindset is a very important aspect in every individual's life. So yes. that is the point or that is the main factor which can make an individual or it can break the individual too at the same time. It can help them to grow and it can also make them to destroy themselves. So mindset plays a very prominent role in every individual's life. So we would like to know, we, me and the audience, everyone would like to know that what are the components that helps to build up the mindset properly to a successful life or towards a successful journey ahead? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's very important, like, um, as you told, it may make you or break you based mm-hmm. upon the mindset only. Uh, the journey of the particular per- person completely depends upon the mindset what they have so yes. it's it's very simple if you see in a common way your life is depends upon the decisions what you make okay so the decisions is depends upon the information or the knowledge what you have in your brain is as simple as that so here uh, the important point is if you don't have proper you know uh, knowledge or information or belief system definitely the decisions won't affect you so there are multiple examples here let's say for me personally uh, if someone says about you know uh, believe in this thing or believe in that thing so that uh, blind belief is not uh, so that blind belief is not a good thing to have because that gonna affect the decision what you make so yeah. here one of the important parameter is belief system what is the belief system a person have mm-hmm. yeah so uh, based upon the belief system only he makes majority people will make the decisions based upon what they believe it's not about what happening outside it's all about what they are thinking and what they are believing by seeing a particular situation so based upon that only people will start responding or reacting to the situations. Based upon the response and reactions, their life going to change. So, mm-hmm. important thing is, what is the belief system a person have? So, yeah, this is a uh, important thing, the belief system. Yeah, belief is very important. How does a belief can build things? Uh, does the mindset play a role in building a belief on someone or some situation does it get affected yeah. yeah a lot let me give an example here so there is a bird i don't know the exact name of that particular bird i have searched it but i forgot that now so that particular bird will make a sound which is a very very um, it's not a comfortable sound to listen in my childhood somehow somewhere some people told if that bird is flying and making that sound in front of you or in front of your house, some bad going to happen in the house. So the most bad happen, uh, happening thing is like a death. So that is the belief system which is created in me when I was a child. So eventually what happened, whenever I just listen that particular bird sound, I asked a bunch of people also about this. They also uh, tell me, uh, said me the same way. You know, that bird is not good. You know, that bird is, uh, you know, making some sort yeah. of effort of yours. You, you may get some bad thing like that. So I'm not able to sleep properly. I'm getting so anxious whenever the bird makes that sound. So what, uh, what, I mean, it's eventually connecting for me as well. If the bird is making that sound, some, ba- some bad thing is happening. Okay. It's exactly happening because of the belief system what I believed. I, I thought it was a coincidence, but multiple times it got repeated. So that belief uh, inclined into me so strongly because of the things happening around me. And then eventually I became so weak whenever the birds, uh, uh, you know, made that sound. And, uh, just, uh, it is just like uh, happened just because of the belief. 
but i don't know i i i don't know maybe it happened coincidentally coincidentally but uh, my belief system became stronger because of it happened so eventually uh, you know my husband said they really don't know about this bird story you know even though the bird is uh, uh, roaming there and making that type of sound no one is really taking care and no they don't know actually about this so i told them about this they started laughing at me you know you know that is not not to we usually play uh, with the, that particular bird that is not to something like that so eventually i started believing uh, reverse for my belief system you know i thought uh, i consciously said to myself we know it is not true the bird is just making its own because it's a bird and i done some research in the net it, is it true or not uh, the name of the bird is something tita pitta in telugu i don't know exactly what is it called in english so you can just type in the google uh, so that that particular bird uh, even though it is making sound i said to myself you know let let it be it's it's not true so eventually the things uh, switched and changed it's not really happening bad anymore mm-hmm. and the fear and the anxiety part reduced in me and one most one of the most important thing for the belief system is uh, you know if you are putting all your energy into one particular thing uh, that reflect that the energy reflects outside is much much bigger than what it is so for um, for what valid example is, yeah. sorry for interrupting if you impact any good um, good uh, related good belief towards something then yeah. it does it yeah. the same as well yeah it is that's that's the that's the thing i'm about to say so um what happened uh, in ramayana if you see uh, anjaneya is the strongest person so to get that much stronger or uh, the the power in him he just putting his entire focus in rama and believing that it is and believing in that so that all the negativity is going and the power of uh, even though the power is within him because of that con- consistent belief and the focus he is just uh, enlarging it into very wider way same thing happen for every humans so if you just go to the temple start saying whatever you want to uh, whatever you want or wish in in your life you just creating strong belief system in your head that gonna start to work out in a reality so yeah. belief system is most important thing that gonna help you to make decisions okay to make you power as well as weak so belief system is one one of the driving source for you it's very very important so we need to be very conscious what are you believing whether it is a positive or negative or were in were believing gossips and were not into reality you need to do homework on it because that's define you as a person there will be major impact on the belief system yeah so if you believe it will happen as you have made uh, some driving force uh, for belief and all <clears throat> does man do we need any motivation yeah so motivation is uh, for me whenever i think of motivation it is a limited source first of all you know i just get motivated for the first first day of my class later on it's just go off or uh, you know whenever you feel some new idea in your in your brain you just get excited excited is the first step to move further then that excitement uh, will move to the next stage of the motivation but motivation is as i told it it will be only for the limited span of time if you are listening to something uh, which makes you motivated you you just want to do it but not everyone are doing that because the motivation uh, duration of that motivation is very very limited time so motivation is just like a booster you know if you are not really willing to do something if you listen to some sort of motivation that really going to you a big push for limited time so motivation going to help you to boost yourself whenever you are not willing to do something and it is also mm-hmm. help you to, to to start something so it's very challenging for every human to get to be motivated on every time majority time people demotivate you know let's say if you are taking this interview right as they want to tackle with and everything yeah real life gives us more challenges reality gives us more challenges let's say if you are taking this interview 
uh, I just get motivated to do this. We may get some issues in between. There is more possibility. Or something may cut off, or I'm, I'm not able to take it. So, uh, you know, once or twice it's happening, you just get demotivated to not do that. Majority people yes. will fall in this zone. No, it's yes. not happening. Yeah. Yeah. Continuous failure demotivates us, even though you have, uh, you know, uh, that. And also the disbelief that we may failed in this aspect uh, also may make us demotivate. Yeah, it's true. It is true. So uh, I inspired by movie uh, industry people who are actors and directors, uh, you know, and as well as athletics. So you know, I uh, just remember one situation in whenever there is shooting happening RRR. Uh, Ram Charan uh, Garu told this thing in some interview. I don't know the interview exactly which interview it is, but he told like one uh, one, one particular day, uh, every side is ready and everyone are ready. But uh, Ram Charan uh, uh, Garu got like headache. He is not willing to shoot on that particular day. Still, he is pushing himself, and he decided to. He just told you know I'm not able to do. Today. But in somehow, some way, Raj Mohligar, they are not accepted because the set is ready and you know everything is ready. Raj Mohligar really forced Ram Charan to have that particular shot on that particular day. So for we should not work for money. Here the concept need to understand and the motivation need not to be a money here. So the motivation need to be the work. Money is a byproduct of the work, what everyone, what you do. Like for example, for students. Uh, marks is a byproduct. You need to understand the subject. The understanding, whatever you have, you're putting it in the paper, marks will be the byproduct. Marks will be, yeah. You can't read for the marks. Yeah, you can't read for the marks. You can't work for the money. Money need to be the byproduct. The essential part need to be the work. If you're dedicate, if your dedication and if you get putting best effort. If you get motivated for the work, what you do, that gonna give you so many byproducts. For the athletics also, even uh, they just wanna, uh, you know, just wanna sleep, or chill out, just want to eat whatever they want because they have money to, they have uh, uh, money or uh, time to get that food or uh, to explore wherever they want. Still, they are not doing it because they are so much disciplined, I could say, and motivated. So motivation, as I told, a limited parameter. So discipline is the key. No matter what, you want to do it. Even though you're not getting anything out of it, still do. We never know how nature going to surprise us because God going to surprise us. If you're putting your best effort here, the result may come in another way, which may not be this. I experienced this, though, this particular thing so many times because I started my journey when I was... Um, like you, student, 18, 19, something like that. So my first class was for 10 rupees. You know, <laughs> that is not enough for my charges as well. It was completed in a different area. Still, I'm motivated and I, it it really challenging for me. They haven't so given work, permissions. You have kept up about your work has motivated you a lot. Yeah, yeah. The discipline matters. Motivation will be there, but you need to be disciplined. No matter what, you need to do it. Just push yourself to the next next levels. Yeah. And always track what is the next level is. Don't put push yourself overly. That will back. You should not push yourself uh, beyond your level. You need to track your levels. Then small steps is important. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. As we have discussed about a point, discipline. Does that play a very prominent role in every human's life? And what are the factors of being a disciplined person? I mean, means what kind of factors make a person being a disciplined one? Yeah. So the important uh, point here is like, uh, as I told, discipline is one of the key factor which which should be a driving source for us. So first. Uh, if you get, if any idea triggers in your brain or if any work triggers in your brain, you feel so excited if it is new. Later on, you just lose interest on that. Then uh, maybe the uh, side parameters or some external factors is pushing you. So everyone's life is always pushing by some other people. 
that's why majority people are living a normal lifestyle. So this excitement, motivation, and discipline, if you're putting all this together, you'll become an achiever. You know, you need to be excited for the work, what you do. Sometimes you desperately need motivation because uh, the parameters which affect you, your past work will motivate you or your intentions behind the work motivates you. So no matter what, even though you are motivated or not motivated, even though I'm not, no, I don't want to show up on this particular interval, still I'm doing it. That is discipline. So it's not about the situations. It's not about whether you were, whether you were good or bad. It's not about uh, whether you want to take this or not. Still, you are taking this even though you are not willing to take. So that is something called discipline. So discipline is very, very important thing. If anyone wants to achieve anything, they need to have discipline. And passion is the one of the important source. If you want to be so disciplined, you need to have passion towards the work what you do. You need to fall in love with the work what you do. Passion is nothing but you so need to love the work. What's the point? Passion. Does passion can be replaced by the discipline? Means having a passion. If we have a passion about a some work or something, the individual uh, will definitely be punctual and disciplined towards that work. So, does the parameter passion replace the discipline? I, I can't say it's a replacement. It's more of like, like uh, helping each other. Like, you know, if, okay. if you have passion, you will do intense work. Yes. With the intention, with the ease and interest, everything will be so smoothing. Yeah, the, the intense work, but uh, for the success or for the betterment or, or for the growth in anything, whatever you start, you need to do consistently. In, intensity is needed, but consistency is most important thing. So let's say, uh, let's say if the student have exams, they'll do always a intense learning. Before two days of the exam, they'll night out, they'll write the exams, they'll pass. So that is the mm -hmm. intense example for the intense. Consistency is nothing but gradually you're parting uh, the subjects and the duration you're keeping it every day. Let's say there is a solid example. There is a hundred hours of work. If you have hundred days, you need to work. So you know, part by part every day, every time by yeah. dividing by the yeah. division of work. So for, yeah, for, for any achieve, uh, for any achievement in your life, once you got, once you completed your studies, you need to do a consistency work with the combination of intense. Not only intense. You need to do, sometimes we need to put lots of effort. Sometimes you need to go very intense. But you can't go intense and intense and intense. That's that's not going to work. You know, that's not going to work. So you need to be consistent with the combination of intense. Yeah.